Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between our visitors and our home team. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Burrow on play action. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A big play that time through the air. 38 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. great about watching him run, Charles. He doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. The Burroughs throw taken in by Landry. Touchdown! Jarvis Landry. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Tigers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. The three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game, and they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. Now another shot here at the PAT. It's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7-0 lead. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Devontae Smith now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A uh, play fake, now Namath. Looking deep for Julio. He's got a man complete. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. And what a big time play there. I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely. And when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Now name it to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Off the play fake, it's Namath. And it's caught. Touchdown, Julio Jones, there to make 
the ground. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And now a two-point conversion attempt forthcoming. And Namath going to throw for it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And now look at him go. He's at the 40. The 20. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now the Crimson Tide ready to kick this thing off after the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw complete there to Beckham. From the 28, it's second and five. Burrow looking to pass. It's complete. He finds Falk here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground. And Ball going to be hit and taken down. They got him. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. After one, our score, 9-6. to six. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. And he'll give it here to his running back. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. On third down, Burrow. That'll be caught. It's Hester. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now here's a throw that's complete and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. 
They go play action with Burrow. Forced out to his left. And it's caught. Touchdown. On out Beckham. There to make the grab. And the Tigers are able to extend their lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Namath rolling to his right. He dumps it off for Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Open man, that's Ozzie Newsome. A gain of six there on first. To throw again on second down. Namath, carrying it out deep for Smith. This is caught inside the 15. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Devontae Smith, 48 yards. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. Now the offense will stay out there. They're going to line up and try for two. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Tredavious White with a pick. And now nothing but green ahead of him. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Boy, they're down only one score, still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's Alabama now after the touchdown, back out to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And the clock reads 30 seconds to go, so really not a whole lot of time to speak of. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Trying to improvise. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And got his man complete! Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout.
final play of the half for Burrow and company. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Extra point right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Namath. Man open here is Jones. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. to throw Namath. Steps away to his left. Looking here for Smith downfield. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Devontae Smith. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Still just a two-score game in the third quarter, but they're going to go onside kick here anyway. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. On the move to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. To throw once more on second and ten. Burrow escaping the pressure right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. It's caught by OBJ. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 
whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football. There's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. From the 36, Burrow. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Touchdown! Justin Jefferson, 59 yards. And the Tigers are able to stretch out their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. 